A pair of unique homes in Encinitas could soon get some national recognition and protection. The boathouses you see here are up for consideration by a state commission to become historic landmarks. News 8's Alicia Summers is live in Encinitas with more on the nearly century-long history of the uh, one or two of a kind homes. Alicia? That's right there. Great to look at. So I'm going to step out of the way and give you a closer look. These two homes built like boats have been in this Encinitas neighborhood on 3rd Street for almost 100 years. Now this site is getting close to being put on the National Registry of Historic Places to keep it here indefinitely. We actually found footage from the 70s of these two boathouses and spoke to a family who lived here. These 50 foot two story boats were never seafaring. They were built to be apartments by a man named Miles Kellogg from Michigan back in 1928. He was a builder, but he also had a lot of uh, seafaring experience uh, on the Great Lakes. Kellogg actually used wood salvaged from a local bathhouse in an old hotel called the Moonlight Beach Dance Parlor. It's a perfect example of repurposing or recycling, uh, which is very much a part of the DNA of Encinitas. The two two bedroom units are part of a six unit complex and are anchored into the history of Encinitas. This is News 8 footage from 1978 when a husband and wife lived in one. We had a man that lived here when he was a little boy and he's now about 35 so he came back to see them and different things like that. The SS Moonlight and the SS Encinitas have changed hands over the decades. The Encinitas Preservation Association bought the property in 2008 for $1.5 million and is now trying to get the site on the National Register of Historic Places. The main thing is with the historic designation, it opens up for more grants. Uh, we do need to restore the boat. Once the association has paid down the debt on the homes, it will make one available for public tours on a regular basis. But for the next several years, it needs to rent out the units to pay the mortgage and the cost to restore them. Our best estimate is about three quarters of a million dollars to do all the work from foundations, the things that you won't see, uh, to the historic restoration that you will see. The Office of Historic Preservation in Sacramento will be meeting on August 1st to decide whether or not to make this site a nationally important landmark by putting it on the historic places list. Again, that is August 1st, so we'll see what happens.